today we're going to be doing a R1234YF service using the MSX3030 by CPS. This machine offers you uh, the full cycle function, fully automatic, but for demonstration purposes we're going to use the uh, independent sequence one by one today. We're going to start on the recovery process. Typical recovery time takes anywhere between five to eight minutes depending on the amount of refrigerant being recovered. The process being completed now is we're using the refrigerant identifier installed on the machine. It's identifying what refrigerant is currently in the tank. Now we're gonna connect the service couplers to the vehicle and open the valves. It's very important not to hook the service hoses to the vehicle until prompted by the screen. We are now identifying the refrigerant in the vehicle. We have properly identified the refrigerant in the vehicle as R1234YF. We can proceed. We are now recovering the refrigerant from the vehicle. The machine is going to tell us the amount of refrigerant being recovered from the vehicle. We're also going to be able to see how much room is left in the tank for recovery. We've completed the recovery process. The machine has now gone into an oil drain. We will now enter the amount of oil that was recovered from the vehicle. We checked the drain bottle and there was no oil present, so the amount that we're gonna enter is zero. Note the amount of refrigerant recovered from the vehicle. In this case, it wasn't significantly lower than the maximum capacity of the vehicle. If you had a significant leak, additional work might be required on the air conditioning system. The refrigerant recovery and oil drain process is complete. We're now going to proceed to the vacuum function. We're going to go ahead and set the vacuum time for this demonstration at 30 minutes. We have completed the vacuum process. We are now gonna move on to the recharge. So on the screen, you, you can see the question asking if the vehicle is using a high voltage compressor. This vehicle does not utilize a high voltage compressor, so we're gonna move on with the charge function. On this screen, we have the opportunity to enter the amount in either pounds and ounces or grams. Because the vehicle placard states the amount of refrigerant in grams, that's what we're going to use for this demonstration. Also, we have the ability to charge through one single port or both high and low side. We're going to choose both high and low side to recharge the vehicle.
You're being prompted to follow the instructions on the screen. After doing so, we'll move on to the next step in the process. The charge process has been completed. The vehicle is running. We're finishing the last segments of a car health procedure. Because there was no oil drained on this particular vehicle, it is not necessary to put any oil back into the system. If we needed to replace oil into the vehicle AC system, we would use the U-View spot gun injection system. We've now completed the AC system service. We're here for you for your AC equipment service needs in the future please contact us at www.cpsproducts.com.